Hi everyone, this topic will talk about how to export Delta AX Codices series controller log. You can see the system architecture we use a uh, laptop connect to uh, AXA. And if you connect to AX3 series, uh, the difference is just for the default IP address. Uh, before we go further, here's the important message. Uh, for AX8 series, you can use either uh, Codices uh, software or DIA Designer AX. For AX3, we can use only DIA Designer AX. If you want to download DIA Designer AX, then you can uh, register member on Delta DIA Studio website. Uh, first, we will talk about how to export the POC log for troubleshooting. So basically, uh, we double click the device, then find the uh, tag of file. Then uh, we click this one, refresh, so we can uh, see the POC log, so you can uh, export this uh, POC log. And second, you can see this one will be a uh, DI Designer AX, so uh, actually it's, a similar, uh, it's the same way. We uh, double click device and click uh, files and then uh, refresh, so you will see the exactly same uh, uh, pattern. Next will be uh, export device log for troubleshooting. So again, uh, we double click uh, device. First one is for codices and second one is for uh, DI Designer AX. So you can see uh, we use the same way. So come to here, you will see the main difference of uh, codices and the DI Designer AX is a uh, Delta uh, DI Designer X add on uh, hardware configuration and network configuration. Okay, now we uh, move to the software portion. So you can see here we click uh, standard project. Uh, then here you just uh, select the model uh, you use. And now we use a uh, AX Windows series. So we uh, select this one. And you can select the version. And also for the programming language. Uh, at the same time, we can open this one for the uh, codices standard. And you will see because the uh, project name already exists, so you will pump up this in, uh, information. And again, uh, we can select the Windows series and you can select the language you want to use. And then we move back to uh, DI Designer X. Okay, then here we can uh, double click the device and then we can uh, click scan network so you will see we will uh, find the device uh, the AX8 controller okay after that we can click uh, look sorry uh, files then uh, click here refresh okay so we can select the location we want to save the file and Example, uh, we create a new folder called AXA. Okay, here we use a AXA. Sorry. And then we can select the AXA. Double click and then we can select the file. and then transfer to uh, your laptop. So this is the uh, first portion. Then uh, if we want to check the device lock, then we can click here and then uh, sync first. So you will see uh, you will update the uh, device lock. Uh, then we can export uh, the XML file. Uh, from this log, so you can just assign set to the desktop or somewhere you want. Okay, then we can back to the codices. Uh, so apparently, uh, some issue because the uh, project name is a uh, duplicate. So now we uh, it uh, change to untitled file, and then we select the standard project. Again, so this might take some time. Okay. 
So once the process done, then we uh, also double click here and then uh, click uh, scan network. So you will find the uh, ASA controller, AS series controller. Okay, then we click uh, files and then here uh, refresh. And again, uh, sorry, we can uh, select this one and then uh, select the file and transfer to your laptop again. Okay, next will be a uh, device. So here we can click uh, refresh. So you will see uh, same information and then uh, we can uh, export. So example, we still set in the desktop. Oh, sorry, uh, we may be set in the X8, then uh, device. Then we uh, refresh and find the X8. So you can see this is the uh, device log in the XML file. So that's all for this topic. Thank you.